Alright, so last time we were working on achievements. Uh, honestly, achievements are just kind of... Achievements, I mean, you know, achievement hunting is achievement hunting. I would love... I love... I used to love doing it. And honestly, I still could probably go for it. So, let's try to get some wins and let's try to get some achievements along the way. Don't know which one of these I actually haven't gotten. So, we'll just go ahead and freeze the cricket. Move once. Alright, we'll get two of these. One of those. Dude, I cannot wait till the new patch comes, man. Because it's, it's just been like a whole thing. Uh, sulking citizens, ironic baguettes, packages, moody baguettes. There we go. Figured it out. We got the name down. But yeah, we're going to be in the stream a little bit early today, uh, just because I got to the DMV. I guess call to action, because I always forget to do it. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I'm uh, live on Twitch and YouTube at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern for about five hours. Usually I start a little bit early, but that's the long and short of it. Oh, now I wish I'd gotten that uh, that other boy. Uh, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. no. We're going to do that. We're going to roll once. Should have eaten after the fact, by the way. Moron. <laughs> That's fine. It's okay. We're fine. Yeah, I gotta go to the DMV today. Because, uh, you know, you gotta go to the DMV to get a, to get an ID, even though in real, in, in like, I don't know, probably in other, in other countries, you probably they just automatically get it in the mail. You probably don't have to go all the way to the DMV. That sucks. We're gonna actively win this, just barely, though, only because we have that B at the end. That's just, that's just phenomenal, dude. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, anything else I want here? No. Uh, a dog? Do I want a dog? Honestly, I could win with a dog. That's not really, that's not too much of an issue. Do I just freeze the two fishes, though, and try to get an upgrade? You know what? I think I do freeze the two fishes and try to get an upgrade on the fishes next turn. We combine our birds and then just try to get our fishes up a little bit. Honestly, I kind of wish I knew how it works in other countries where you where I could just go like, "Hey, how does it work?" <laughs> in your country, do you have to go to the do you have to physically go to the DMV in order to actually get your uh, <laughs> your ID if your other one expires? It'd be pretty uh, pretty interesting to know whether or not you do ha whether or not you have to or not. But uh, eh, it's whatever. That's life, you know. That'll be next turn. This turn, honestly, we'll freeze both of these guys for next turn. We'll go ahead and give a meat to the uh, to the hatching chick since we're gonna. I'm gonna be trying to keep this hatching chick all the way to the end, simply because he's a uh, he's an achievement getter. He's an achievement go getter. Well, that's 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 assuming that we ever get more than one. That's funny. <laughs> that's super funny. And because I have meat on the chick, it just automatically takes him out. Alright, at this point in time, we're going to combine you. Poodle's phenomenal. Poodle's actually way too good to pass up here. So I'll tell you what, we're going to get rid of this musket. We're going to go ahead and put the poodle right here in the back. Yeah, I guess that sounds correct, right? Yes, we'll go ahead and put the beetle in the front. The beetle's the next thing on the chopping block here. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and do that. Beetle is the next one on the chopping block. We no longer need the bluebird, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's see. Four, three, one. Okay, so this is a one. This is a one. We're going to want the the beetle to get buffed here. So how do we go about it? Yeah, this looks fine. Do I get a rooster? I'll freeze a rooster roll once. See what I get. I mean, we can't just not get another hatching chick. That's just It would just be silly not to. We're going to go ahead and get garlic. We're going to shove garlic onto the poodle. And right now, we should be perfectly fine. More on me. Didn't uh, didn't swap positions of the of the chicks, so now one of them is a two two, and the other one's also two two. So we're just rocking two two twos for no reason. We're gonna get rid of the fish uh, soon here. Like by soon, I mean like pretty much in uh, like a few seconds. Yeah, we win that super easily. Having two hatching chicks is just phenomenal. All right. Ooh, dude, what if I got it? What if I could get a level three fish? What if I could though? What if I could get a level 3 fish here? We'll only have this for one turn. I'll freeze you, roll one time, see what I get. Nothing important here. Yeah, I think this could be pretty cool, honestly. 
I mean, it's a 1-1 one, one for one turn. That's not good. Yeah, this is severely not good. We will still come out of this with a draw. Damn it. Just barely, too, because that guy had a B on the end. I mean, obviously. Friend summon. Give it plus two, plus two when not in battle. But this only applies to summons. So it's a, basically a, a better horse. Which makes it useless, because the horse is kind of like a little bit useless. All right, I'll tell you what. Next turn, we're gonna get rid of the tropical fish. We're gonna buy one of the one of the roosters. We're gonna buy the one with five seven. Well, the one that is five seven rather. Poodle's not gonna get any more buffs if we do get the rooster though, which is a little bit of an issue, but that's life. Uh, wow, we actually barely lose. Damn. What is that? One more and then we're dead? Okay, so this is what we're doing here. Think for a second, think for a second, think for a second, think for a second. Are we going to get rid of the tropical fish? The answer is yes. We're going to buy one of you, we're going to buy the snail. Freeze the pair, roll one. Sorry, didn't get another snail, that's fine. This has to be in the back, so this can move to the front. We can get one of you hanging out right there. We can start buffing up the beetle a little bit here. That way the beetle can give extra health to the rooster with uh, as time progresses. That's going to be phenomenal. Uh, turtle is phenomenal here just because my, my, uh, <laughs> my poodles are rocking quite a bit of HP here. In fact, my poodle will bust through their uh, will bust through their their front unit, which is going to be phenomenal because our beetle will essentially get through the rest of their units on its own. All right, okay, so we're doing fine here. We haven't needed the the services of the rooster quite yet. Obviously, we're going to can. We're going to go ahead and buy one of you. Yes, yes. We're going to buy one of you. An octopus could be very, very, very. Very interesting here. We're going to do this from now on. We're going to do this. Yes, this works. All right, I got to think here. We're going to probably get rid of the beetle sometime in the near future. So when we do that, we'll, we'll transition over to the octopus. Maybe? Maybe. The answer is indeed a maybe in that situation. I mean, we don't have much in the way of like we don't have a level three obviously that's 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 the first issue we can't we're not gonna get any issues we'll get a, we might get a win a win would be pretty cool honestly uh this actually will be pretty uh this actually will be pretty okay yeah yeah we get we get straight through three other units their bison is gonna be uh is gonna be taking our boy out but our boy is gonna summon a little chick and our chick is just gonna have a great time okay so how do i want to go about this uh, first things first. First things first. We're gonna wanna do this. To get this guy's health up. We're gonna wanna give him a chili pepper so he can, he can have a great time. We're gonna keep the octopus frozen. We're gonna have the beetle hanging out. The beetle's gonna keep getting buffs every single turn. This is the only thing is that it's gonna keep getting buffs. I kinda wanna transition now, but I can't afford to. So we're going to roll once. Nothing here that I can do anything with. So we're just going to go ahead and give our hatching chick a little bit of extra oomph. A little bit of chutzpah, as the Greeks would say. Not Greeks. Not Greeks. That's incorrect. However, you can't tell me that they didn't say that because that the language that that comes from might have existed back then. Alright, so this is going to go very poorly. And we're just barely going to come out of it with a win. Wow, dude. The math is working for us just barely. 1 HP here, 1 HP there. Alright, now I know what you're saying. Why don't you just get a T-Rex? And I agree with you. Why don't I just get a T-Rex? The answer is... I should, and I will, right now. But I gotta, f I gotta do a couple of things first. That's a couple of things, number one. 
That's couple of things number two. Couple of things number three. Three is you. At this point, we only can we can roll twice, and that's that's the long and short of where we end up with this. Beetle can now be taken out. The beetle can now go. We're already at eight wins, dude. We're not. We're definitely not gonna get any level three achievements here, dude. It literally. It should not be. You have to be level three in order to get a in order to get an achievement, dude. Also, we lose this one no matter what. By the way, there's no chance of winning this. Zero percent chance, actually, because we don't have enough health on the on the beetle to survive a forty-two attack. Oh my god, we didn't lose. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't lose. I disagree with how that went. I feel like we should have lost that one. We are now at, uh, well, it looks like we're not going to do anything with the octopus. All right. This is, uh, this is interesting because this means we're going to get a, I should, first of all, I should, no, 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 I'm not going to move my, what's it called? The T-Rex the non being a non-factor except for scaling is okay by me. This is fine. My front unit's not meant to really do anything special. Uh, I'm going to be 1 HP off of taking it out, but I will barely be 1 attack off from not taking that guy out. Damn it. Okay. I mean, the answer is obvious here. That's the only play you can make there. That makes sense. I guess we'll freeze the sushi. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's really nothing else I could do here. Dude, I'm so I'm so sad that we were one attack off from the rooster and one HP off from the uh, from the hatching chick. Or one attack off from the hatching chick in being able to actually take things out. This is gonna be actually phenomenal, because that, that guy in the that guy right there is gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean rooster's just rooster's just really powerful. There's what you, there's nothing more you could say about that. We might actually get my first like 10 spot in a while. I feel like so I feel like Super Auto Pets does this thing where it makes your next your next fight uh, your next uh fight your next attack your next game in Super Auto Pets. Your next game, the first one, if you don't play in a while, I feel like it makes the first game that you play in a while. <laughs> If you haven't played in a while, it makes the first game that you play incredibly easy compared to everything else where you actually start getting units and things of that nature. Am I on lethal right now? I might be on lethal right now, which means this uh, this guy's not going to survive. That guy's not going to survive. We're going to get two chicks here, but we're not. We're going to be. Our, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We win. Dude, the math just kept working out, like, either against us by, like, one, or for us by, like, a couple. But, that, I mean, that's, that's fine. Yeah, but I feel like it, it just gives you, like, an, an, a kind of an easy win if you haven't played in a while, just to, like, hook you back in. Which, I mean, it would make sense, honestly, but, that's eh, whatever. Let's, let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and run it back. Let's try to actually get a level three this time. You know, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty uh, nice to actually be able to, you know get something uh realistically i probably should have gone i probably should have gotten ants we're gonna be the bear bosses puppies over excited puppies oh, yep i like that one not huge puppies but i mean to be fair my dog is essentially in in essence a huge puppy uh what happened here did you buy and sell a beaver he must have bought and sold the beaver right no because that wouldn't have enough h i have no idea what happened there that's very weird. That's very weird. That's a very weird uh, configuration right there. Don't care for anything here right now. Alright, we should have put the weaker uh, the weaker uh, ant in the back, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened here. Did you like buy 50 otters? Is that what happened? I mean, we're gonna win very easily, but... What's going on with the, what's going on with these games, dude? I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting these games I'm getting are way too easy. I mean, before I get absolutely decimated in like two seconds, but uh, you know what? Actually, I think this will be pretty fun. Will it be good? Absolutely not. Will we get double fishes? Absolutely, we will. Uh, next turn, I'm selling that beaver off, and I'm buying the two fishes and putting them as a 1.5 fish on the back end. 
Uh, this is actually fine. This actually is perfectly fine. We're actually super good here. Yeah. Oh, this guy's trying to go for a level 3B. Yeah. That's probably... You're probably never going to get there, homie. As much as I hate to say it, you're probably never going to get to that level 3. I will actually roll twice here. Should have frozen that pill, by the way. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I could give. I could have given a bee to the back fish. It probably would have been more uh, worth more. Uh, yeah. For some reason, we're going against extremely easy teams, and I don't know why. Like literally, my first unit was a four three, and it went through three of their units. That's a little bit weird. I don't know what how this guy thought that was gonna go well for him. At this point in the game, like you typically, you typically have a unit units that are like. That I actually have like a, a, at least a little bit of HP. I wish I I wish I had a dog right now, dude. Not in real life. I do have dogs in real life. I mean, I wish I had a dog in the game. See, here's the issue. I want a dog. Give me a dog. Okay, but where's my dog? Dog? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I did there, by the way. It was really, it was just a really bad move all, all together. That was just a really, really bad move. Oh, that was a good buy sell. Don't do what I did there, by the way. It's just a really, really bad. It's just so bad. Such a bad, such, so, so bad. Just so incredibly bad. Like, I couldn't have done, I couldn't have done something, I couldn't have done anything worse in that situation. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. We're gonna lose this one for sure, by the way. 100%. No way in hell we don't lose this. Yeah, because he's going to summon that. He's going to two, do, two, two, do, do two damage. But it wouldn't have mattered because the math doesn't work in our favor anyway. Yeah, I, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm good with how that happened, honestly. I'm good with how that went. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good too. Oh, I should have gotten the sheep there. Mm, that would have been that would have been good. Getting another sheep and just fainting it right away. Um, that should be fine. Getting another sheep right there and fainting would have been would have actually been like the play. That's kind of bad. I mean, we, we lose this no matter what. There is no chance in hell we don't lose this. Yeah. We don't have, we just don't have enough uh, uh, HP or attack. I did roll through like 50 different units, but don't let that fool you. Don't let that fool you into thinking that was my fault entirely. I was definitely the game kind of like being a little bit stinky here and there. Uh, it's only if you buy. Okay, we can buy sell two two more times, but honestly, I see no reason to buy sell two more times. I see this being, actually, yes, I do. I see a good reason to sell that right away and then buy a uh, buy a turtle to put in the second slot. Caterpillar, maybe we'll, we'll run a caterpillar next turn. That might be a pretty good play. Right now, we don't really have a good squad. The only thing that's keeping us going in, at this point in time is the uh, fact that we have. Oh my God, that's not good. <laughs> Is the fact that we have a uh, a pretty a pretty powerful dog, courtesy of the uh, courtesy of the hatching chick, which is just barely like worked out for us math wise. All right, so we got to sell something here. That's gonna go. This is gonna come in. Uh, at this point in time, there's obviously no no. I'm not gonna be buying and selling. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be buying and selling. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna. I'm I'm just gonna be summoning um into other things. So. Uh, that would be pretty good, but I, I like the, the way that looks a lot better. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Okay. That's, this is fine. Next turn, we'll buy a can. We'll buy a can. Our hatching chick will be get to 6-6. Six, six. It'll actually be a unit, like, worth worth something. Uh, well, this isn't good, though. This sincerely is not good. 
we will fortunately be able to just barely push through that guy, but it doesn't matter because your boy has uh, two half, half, halfway decent units in the back. Okay, so this is where we think, right? What do we do? The answer is always can first sell the fish, buy the snail, sell the snail. Buy the hatching chick. Combine the hatching chick. Freeze you. Freeze you. Alright, so now we gotta consider. We get a bison or a buffalo. I think the answer is bison in this situation. We're gonna get this hatching chick, put it right there, and just chill out for a little bit. We're gonna buy another can next turn. Uh, we probably won't survive this turn, if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. But, that's okay. It's not okay, but there's nothing I can really say to make it okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this. Uh, are we going to do this? Yes, we're going to do this. This will actually end up being a little bit better because he'll get a buff and then he'll give the melon armor. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, part of me wants to uh, get a uh, seal and try to make that work, but it's not going to happen. All right, so we have two halfway decent units. And we have three units that aren't great, but they aren't terrible. Uh, How is this going to go? I mean, fine so far. Uh, we're gonna lose here. D we're gonna lose there really badly. I'm gonna say right now, it wasn't because I rolled through I rolled through six times in the beginning. I'm gonna say it's gone. I just didn't. I didn't scale hard enough. That's that's probably on me. Honestly, the rolling six times really didn't do anything because getting the dog actually ended up. The dog ended up being our only good unit there. We'll actually run it back. Just because uh, I don't feel good about how that ended. But this time will be the Misty Swimmers boring. We'll be the Misty Swimmers. We will be the Gen 2 Cerulean Gym Leader. Yeah, is that how that works? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I, if I look at that last game, rolling six times probably wasn't obviously wasn't the play there. And getting the, the the hatching chicken, just having it sit there, might not have been the play either. But I don't think that one was a bad play. I'm pretty because sure, getting the bison, getting the buffalo wouldn't have mattered too much because I would have had to sell either the caterpillar or something or something else to make it work like at all. So I don't think that was the issue. I don't think that was the issue. It could have been, but I don't think it was. I should have frozen that ant. Damn it! I could have had a three, a three-two ant. That's fine. Uh, okay. All right, good for that guy. He gets through my units like he gets through my units like butter here. Wow. Wow, he got some pretty good mosquito luck there, dude. Had he not gotten the first unit there, I actually would have been perfectly fine. Good for him. Nice, nice luck. Um, what's gonna stick around for a while? Probably this guy. So we'll give him a meat. We'll roll once. See what we get. We'll summon you. We will just combine you, I guess. Uh, we'll summon the shrimp, I guess. I don't know. This team is looking a little bit, a little bit really bad. But we'll figure it out. I believe in us. Like I said earlier in the video, like. When you don't play this game for a while, I'm pretty sure they just they give you the easiest games on planet Earth. God damn it, dude. Uh, we're still going to win this, but god damn, dude, those mosquitoes. Literally getting my 1-1 one, one units. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to faint the ant, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to buy this. We're going to go ahead and put a B on him. The dog has arrived. The dog has arrived. So what do we sell here? There's something I, I should sell here. The shrimp? No, probably not, because the shrimp and the dog are are one and are like two of the same like well not two of the same unit, but like just good in general. I don't think I sell anything actually. I think I just roll twice. Try to get stuff like this. Try to get a pill. I'll I'll pill. I guess I'll pill you later because it'll summon and then I get another trigger off the cell for one. That's pretty cheap, honestly. In fact, it's so cheap, in fact. 
But I think that's how we go. That this is how we go about this round. So this is how we go about this round. <laughs> Probably not the greatest idea in the world, but we'll try our best. Yeah, definitely not the best idea in the world. My five five, <laughs> my five five beetle could have gotten me out of that. <laughs> that's okay. No, it's not. But it has to be, so that's okay. All right, that gets summoned. We'll go ahead and sell both bees off. I'm not gonna go for level three B. That's just asking for trouble. There's a good chance we lose this round, by the way. So don't don't get too attached. Don't get too attached. There's a good there's a good chance we lose this round. Realistically, I probably should have put the turtle up front. Uh maybe not. The the meat seems to seems to work out really well in my favor here. And having a melon here is actually phenomenal because I win due to the fact that his beetle just didn't do enough damage. Five plus floor plus two, and then minus uh five off the top. Uh, I don't know if I did. I don't know. My math, my brain's not doing so good right now in the math department. <laughs> no, that's probably not true. That's probably true. I'll buy and sell you. Do we get a caterpillar here? I think the answer is maybe. Freeze it for a second. We'll roll three times and see what we get. Okay, so. The answer to that is yes, we get a caterpillar right away, and then we just put a meat on it. I think this will work out pretty okay. My first two units can take out some pretty okay beefy units on the enemy side. Oh, uh, that's actually really good. I think we lose this one no matter what, though. Yeah, we lose this one no matter what. I just don't have enough attack on my dog. My dog got all HP and no attack. That guy has a hatching chick, so he gets a 5-5 automatically on top of everything else. Okay. So, you have tried your best. Unfortunately, you just didn't, you just didn't pan out, homie. It, it is what it is, you know? Sometimes you just don't pan out. Go ahead and buy you. We will sell you. We will buy you. And then just give our dog a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra chutzpah there. As at this point in time, the shrimp has no reason to exist anymore. So we'll probably end up selling that soon. Freeze this just in case we get a pill. Honestly, I don't really... We'll probably end up selling the turtle and the what's it called to make a pill sheep work. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, we don't take him out. He goes through three of our units straight up. Unfortunately for me... I did get those two pairs, so our our dog does take out their entire squad. You know something? You know something that I really like thinking about? I really like the thought of just pilling, pilling the turtle right now. Getting a rhino. Having the rhino exist for a little bit here. Rolling once, see what I get. Nothing important, so we'll just do that. We will not buff our we will not buff our uh, shrimp. That's not gonna happen. Hatching chick's not a bad idea. We sell this boy off. We get the hatching chick. We'll also freeze you just for a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a help friend thing. One, two, two, three. Yeah, okay, we're fine here. We're gonna try to get this rhino really like up and running right now. This rhino is gonna is pr might actually be like our win condition here. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. My rhino just died automatically. But, I mean, it's fine. We're gonna win this one no matter what, so... Not like it matters too much. Yeah. We have enough stats there. That guy was running a 4-man. Had he been running a 5-man, he would have had a better chance, but... Yeah. Goodbye. Hello? 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 Goodbye. And then hatching chick and pair in the front. Yes. Nothing. The only thing that's not getting buffed is the hatching chick, which means I should put the snail in the front. Because there's no reason I shouldn't be giving ha uh, the buffs to the hatching chick. I'm going to have it for a little while here. 
Uh, is this fine? Oh my god, it is fine. We just barely win with 1 HP again. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, alright. In this instance, we're gonna want to put you up here. So that the way the hatching chick actually gets the buffs. We're gonna want to give the rhino... Actually, freeze that for a second. Yes, we're gonna want to do this to the poodle. Oh my god, that's just phenomenal. This is just this is just incredible. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. All right. This everything here is frozen. What I want everything here that I want frozen is frozen. Okay. So next turn we're gonna buy the rhino. We're gonna buy the upgrade for the rhino, and then we're going to get the um, rhino upgrade for the rhino and the pair if we can afford it, which I don't think we can. When you have a T Rex, I think you can only afford to buy two things unless you have a swan. So. Ooh, that's nice, dude. We're gonna break that melon armor and just run straight through the boy. He only has a level 1 rooster, too, so it doesn't matter. Had he had a level 2, he would have been a draw, but without that level 2, he's just kind of stuck. Alright, level 3. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, the dog no longer matters. That's just phenomenal. Okay, alright, so next turn we're gonna buy two Tyrannosaurus Rex, dude. We have one loss that we can play with here. Uh, that's unfortunate that we're going to break Melon with that. Wait a second. The butterfly showing up counts as a summon? That's incredible. That's funny. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. But apparently it does because we got one extra stat point when that guy showed up. Uh, give three random pets. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, why not? Let's just let's just roll with it. Okay. <laughs> Next turn, we will buy up the the food shop, and then we will, uh, I guess, roll once. Hopefully, get some what's it called? Uh, what do you want to call that? Some chocolate. Well, that's pretty good. Good for him. Yeah, it does count as a summon. That's funny. Uh, yeah, we win this, we win this, uh, we win this. I mean, by win this, I mean we tie. Jesus Christ, dude, that swan in the back had was rocking some hardcore HP. Jeez. I'll give it to that boy right there. We roll once. Uh, we can't really do anything with the cow. What, what will we sell? Nothing. There's nothing here to sell. Like, everything on this squad is actually doing something, so. Just gonna keep rolling through. How many wins am I at? I'm at 8 wins, I think. Is this the same squad? It must be the same squad, right? I'm going to just barely tie again. 1 HP tie, once again, dude. Alright, we'll roll 1, see what we get here. Okay, so we got nothing here that I really wanted. I mean, I guess I can give a garlic to the rhino for right now. Wow. Why is the guy running a... Oh, did he have a dragon? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, no, he did have a dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third unit. All right. <laughs> We're going to get another win here. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got a level 3 Rhino, dude. Dude, we're going to have a level 3 Rhino and we're going to win with it. I, dude, dude, screw the Tyrannosaurus buff right this this specific turn, dude. I mean, I could go for a draw. I could go for a nice draw. That way I could I could try to like, oh no. I might actually lose here. Yeah, there's a good chance I actually lose here. Yep, there's a good chance I lose here. Because that guy's going to give that guy a buff. Wait, but I have Melon. Wait, but he has an extra life. Wait, but he only comes back as a 1-1, one, one, so what was the point of that? What was the point of the extra life there? <laughs> okay. Well, we got two achievements here. Oh, no, we got one achievement. I don't, I, I, I'm pretty sure I already went with the Caterpillar like a long time ago. But we got we got an achievement there. We got the Rhino. The Rhino exists now. Yeah, we got 22% now. Let's see, where, where's the boy who got to level 3? The boy who lived, dude. The Rhino. Nice, dude. I wish the, I wish the Rhino had had a chance to shine, dude. The Rhino, like, the Rhino has, like... 
it's such a good unit like when you get it like early but like obviously i got it really late so i didn't really do much except for that one time it broke melon armor and i think that ended up winning them either match so uh yeah that'll be about it for this uh, super auto pets next time well i guess we'll check all free to play and try to get some achievements there and some wins obviously but yeah we'll see <laughs> hopefully win the next one